YouTube, it's Carrier Sidekick, and today I'm playing Team Deathmatch on the map Wideout with the SC2010 with Muzzle Break, Extended Mags, and the Tracker Sight. This is generally my go to class whenever I play any of the snow maps, but especially Wideout, I feel that the Tracker Sight works really well on the white backgrounds, and maybe you guys could try it out and let me know what you think. The only perk I would really suggest for you to use is Stalker, because since you're going to be aiming down sights a lot, it is nice to have your full speed while aiming down sights, but other than that, you could pretty much use any of the perks that you want. So today what I'm going to talk about is my biggest regret in life, at least so far, and it's not life altering or anything, it's not like a really big regret, well it is a big regret of mine, but it's not anything that really changed my life and made it horrible, it's just probably the one thing that if I could go back five years I would change, and I really hope that some of my younger viewers could really get some insight on this because I would really like for other people to not make the same mistake as me, and so if you are in high school, because this really only applies to people that are high school age and younger, I do hope that you really take my advice to heart and think about your future because I know being in high school, you think you've got it all figured out and you just think everything's gonna fall into place and it really doesn't work that way, so um, I guess let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, I'm 22, so that would put me right at about college age. You know, I should have a, a bachelor's degree or be working on a master's degree, but that's not the case. I have an applied associate's degree, which is pretty much useless, and I'll be getting my second associate's degree this semester, as long as I don't fail the one class I'm in, which is math. And uh, this is the third time I'm taking college algebra. I've already failed it twice, and a lot of that just all ties into my biggest regret, which is not going away to college. So going back to my senior year of high school, I pretty much had a, a good idea of what I wanted to do. Not so much career-wise, but at least where I wanted to go in life. I knew I wanted to go to Mizzou, which is one of the largest universities in the state of Missouri. I come from a pretty small town. I just I knew I wanted to get away from the small town, meet a whole bunch of new people, just like completely start over. But the state of Missouri does have a scholarship program, and it's called the A-plus scholarship, which what it is is if you maintain a 2.5 GPA in high school and you do 50 tutoring hours, you're guaranteed tuition at a community college, which I did go ahead and do just as a backup plan. I never really thought I would go ahead and use it, but I thought it'd be a good idea to do just in case something happened and for some reason I couldn't go away. That way I would at least have, you know, some backup plan on going to college. So after talking to my parents for a while, my parents really did convince me to go ahead and use the scholarship that I was given and not to go away. And, you know, a lot of it was because they told me, you know, oh, we have so much student loan debt. And they didn't even go away to college. Neither of my parents went to a university. They both went to tech schools. And they both have lots of student loan debt. And that definitely did scare me. And they just were really trying to tell me, you know, I'll save money on tuition, I'll save money on rib and board. Um, I can just go there for two years, kind of figure out what I want to do, and then move on in life. But honestly, none of that happened. And looking back, I really feel like my parents were more concerned about themselves saving money than me. I feel like, you know, they knew if I went away to college, they would have to furnish a dorm room. And they would always be having to send money for food and, you know, washing your clothes and stuff, and I think really they didn't want to spend the money and that's why they convinced me to use the scholarship. So my first year of college, I decided to major in graphic arts. I was going to be a graphic designer, web designer. That wasn't really my first choice. My first choice was music, but I thought that graphic design might be a little bit more practical of a degree than music. And since I was brand new and didn't know what I was doing, I let the counselor make my schedule for me, which was a pretty bad idea because they didn't put me in any art classes. All they put me in was basic core classes, you know, math, English, history, science. And that really sucked because it made college just super boring and uninteresting. And there was really nothing to look forward to. So after scraping by my first year, and I really do mean scraping by, I was so used to getting A's and B's in high school and now I was making C's. I decided to go ahead and switch my major to music since that's what I had originally wanted to do. I thought, you know, I'll probably have a lot more fun in this. This would be more interesting. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Well, that turned out to not really be all that great either. I figured out the hard way that music is much more fun as a hobby than it is as a job. And since I'm a percussionist, I didn't really understand music theory nearly as well as other people. I mean, I can read music and everything, but I just wasn't up to par with the other players. And so for me, uh, really kind of turned out the hard way that music wasn't for me. 
So now it had been two years and I should have graduated with an associate's degree, but I was behind on a couple classes, so now I really had to make the decision of should I go here a third year, should I just go away to college without it, you know, what should I do? And I'd really been playing around with the idea of going into the military because my dad thought it'd be a really good thing for me. And I was in a pretty bad relationship at the time and I was really lacking in self-confidence. So I could definitely see where I thought that might help. But I was too scared to make the commitment of the military. So for some reason, I thought it'd be a really good idea to become a police officer. So I went ahead and I signed up for the police academy. It was pretty much a year-long program, eight hours a day. And it was way more difficult than I ever thought it would be. Mostly because like a lot of the guys were really hard on me, the instructors were, they didn't think I was really taking it serious, and yeah, that, that was really hard on me. I did actually almost quit halfway through, but after I got to the halfway point, it really started getting a lot easier for me, and I'm really glad that I went ahead and I completed it, and it was one of the best things I ever did for me. It definitely made me a better, stronger person. And I still really am interested in law enforcement. I, I really like it a lot, but I kind of think that I went into it for the wrong reasons. And I don't know that it's for me, and I don't know that I'll ever be able to convince anybody that it is for me. So, well, we're back to square one, not having a job and needing a degree. So after taking a year off to look for a job, I decided to go back to school and finish the degree that I had originally started. And if I had to pass to math, I would have actually graduated this past semester. But since I didn't, now that's the only class I'm in. And if I pass at this semester, which I should because there's so no excuse to not pass one class, I will finally have my original degree that I started, which was an associate of science degree. So now that pretty much puts us up with today's time frame. So now I have to think about, you know, what I want to do next year. And one of the reasons, you know, still I regret not going away to college is the fact that now I probably will never get to. Mostly because I'm in a pretty serious relationship right now. And not that I probably couldn't make it work, but that just seems like that'd be a really hard thing to do. And I really just don't want to risk that. So I'm pretty much stuck now at the St. Louis area. There's really only two schools that I'm interested in going to that are in the St. Louis area, and one of them is a university, and SLU, St. Louis University. And even though I could probably make the commute, if I was going to go there, I'd probably still live on campus, but it would just never be the same as actually going away. And the degree program that I wanted to go for requires a lot of math, and I just don't think I could do that right now. And more so than that, since they were a private college, their tuition is really, really high. And I know I'm going to have to have student loan debt no matter what, but I just really don't think I want that much student loan debt. So because of all those reasons, uh, I really think I'm going to have to pass up on that school and go with my second choice. So that pretty much means next year that I'll be heading off to a tech school and be staying in the St. Louis area, but I'm still going to go ahead and live on campus, try to start over as much as possible, pretty much do the same career that my dad does, just a little bit different. He's made a pretty good career for himself, and he did go to a tech school, but that's not really where I ever saw myself five years ago, and I really think that if I would have changed my decisions five years ago, I'd be in a lot better place, and I think I'd be happier, and, you know, things would be different. So if you are thinking about going to community college, I'm just going to tell you right now, I really wouldn't consider it because I just don't think they're for first-time college kids. I think that if you do consider going to community college, it's really just going to hold you back. You're not going to learn discipline. You're not going to make friends. You're not going to meet anybody new because everybody that goes to community college is, you know, from the same area as you for the most part. And uh, you're not going to have to get a job. You're not going to have to help support yourself. You're just not going to learn valuable life skills that you would have to if you went away. So I really would consider going away to college at any cost if you can afford it somehow. I would go away. So that's my insight and I hope you guys do think it's valuable advice and I hope you guys take it but you know wherever you do decide to go I hope you guys have a very successful future even if it's just making gaming videos on YouTube um but whenever I do hear of video gamers saying that they quit college or their job for YouTube I don't think that's a very wise decision either and I wouldn't do that so yeah Sorry that the uh, commentary was probably a little bit more on the downside, not so excited, but it's kind of hard to be excited about a regret, so, you know, uh, I try my best, but thanks for watching. I hope you guys do like the video. My next topic won't be so down, and uh, see you guys later.